back. I just wanted to say we're going hang gliding. I'm excited. This is one of the things that I was looking most forward to about coming to Rio to hang glide over the city. And uh, I first saw this in a video that Che gave me. It was a documentary that he lent me about Brazil. And the guy goes hang gliding in it. And right when I saw that, I said, we got to do that. That's one of the things we got to do. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little scared. It's dangerous. I heard it. Estamos aqui na rampa da Pedra Bonita, 520 metros. Com esse visual alucinante. Estaremos prontos para decolar aqui e correr nessa rampa. E sair voando. Oi, Kevin. Kevin. Yo, 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 what's up guys? So like I was saying, we didn't get a chance to fly last time, so we're gonna do it now. Uh, if you guys notice, I'm wearing a particular attire. <laughs> okay, my key. Hey, what I thought was funny, too, I thought it was appropriate. You know, we come over here, we do jiu-jitsu, okay, it's an extreme sport. We're gonna mix our extreme sport with this extreme sport, and also I forgot to mention, uh, I forgot to mention one person that, that sponsored me on the way over here. It was uh, Eric Anderson. Okay, he uh, he. We, we're, when I get back, Eric, you know we're gonna do some bad, really bad butt lessons. You know, just to be politically correct, we're gonna do some really cool lessons. Okay, I got a lot of techniques that I'm gonna take home with you, and that goes for Michael Carrillero, that goes for Ray Rubio, for Marco Florio, and for all those other guys that still have private lessons with me. Make sure you guys pick up on them as soon as possible while the information is still fresh in my mind okay and uh, take advantage of the fact you know that I'm doing nothing but training and pretty much the only thing that we do like like when we have when we have videos that aren't training is uh, it's, in, it's in between training sessions you know we wake up six in the morning we're training at seven and then after that like at ten o'clock we have a break until about one o'clock or two o'clock and we train again for another two hours or so and then we do the same thing you know sometimes we sneak in a third session sometimes we just jog on the beach it's a very popular thing around here but um, hopefully I'm gonna get a good video taken off uh, if you notice it's a little bit more clear this time let's walk over there show them the where it is that we're gonna be jumping off of. I'm, I'm, oh, oh, that's me right there check it out uh, it's very Pronto. exciting. Pronto. Last time he was on the very verge of, of jumping off. Basically, he held oh, up the line. Good.
ligado? Ok, vamos lá, Jorge. Vamos, okay, vamos, 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 vamos. Guys, this is Coach George. I'm reporting from the line of fire. All right. So right now, I'm about I don't know. I want to say about 10,000 feet up. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna just gonna enjoy myself. I'm just gonna say, hey, hey, what's up, FFA? Look at your boys now. All right. To my 8:30 class. Hey, to my 12:30. What's up, boys? Big Leonard. That's what's up. All right. So I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy the view. Relax, go to go to fly, go to go to the view. I would say it's surreal. Not even real. It's not even real. It's surreal. It's like something else. I'm not gonna forget it. And, uh... Oh, it was good. Uh, it's the best part is when you land on the ground and you're still alive. You know, we'll probably see Coach George jumping down here from here any second. It was it was awesome, to say the least. You know, check us out www.bestbeachall.com and uh, see some more cool videos pretty soon. Very good.